open the default doc. My default org is open. So we have seen the LWC introduction, right? Uh, um, LWC uh, components, uh, the basic LWC example, right? Then property in uh, LWC, I mean LJS. Uh, how to refer the property? Okay, uh, JS property in HTML. How to call uh, a JS method. HTML and invoke um, imperatively. This imperative call, right? On button click, isn't it? How to invoke um, JS method based on event, a JavaScript event, like on click, isn't it? Um, you know how to do this, right? You will have a JS method name. You will have also have an event argument, correct? In this case. And um, declare the array in JS of primitive and object type. You guys know, right? This one. And how to iterate. How to iterate a uh, phrase in uh, HTML? I hope you know answer for all these uh, items, isn't it? You're somewhat familiar with all this, right? And uh, SLDS, what is SLDS? What is SLDS? Salesforce? Lightning. Design system. Yeah, lightning. Design system. Design system. Yeah. Um, the naming conventions of SLDS. And um, uh, some important classes. SLDS classes. Uh, we have seen right. Like uh, SLDS if and M if and uh, top and underscore like this, right? So important uh, SLDS classes. Uh, what else do you think we have covered? What else? Okay, conditionally. Conditionally rendering HTML component. Conditionally rendering the HTML component. You know how to conditionally rendering the HTML uh, visual force component? Example, which attribute controls? Rendering the no, no, I'm asking in visual force. I'm asking visual force. Hmm. Okay, we have seen rendered, right? It's not about render attribute in visual force, isn't it? Yeah. So it's uh, it accepts boolean value. Every component have this attribute. You have false for this attribute, that component uh, will not render, right? In the case of uh, your ARA, we have ARA if, isn't it? So whereas in the case of LWC, we have template uh, uh, true if, okay, let us get into the material.
<laughs> yeah so you see here render the dom elements the html uh, tag uh, conditionally okay conditionally so what is the uh, tag we'll use here the template if colon true okay the template if colon true so so here the example they given a checkbox you know the lightning input uh, will behave as text in text type uh, will accept text input or will accept number uh, can can behave as a radio button can behave as a checkbox depends upon the type attribute okay the type attribute uh, uh, equal to checkbox uh, the control will appear in the form of checkbox the input will appear in the form of checkbox so what type of input the type checkbox will accept boolean value true or false it will accept a boolean value true or false get my point all of you How to declare this as a box type equal to box okay and uh, just give a label as toggle right and uh, yeah and there is a content So this one I'm going to display uh, conditionally. For example, when I click on the checkbox, uh, display this. When I uncheck the checkbox, display this. Okay. So I'm going to wrap the content inside the template tag. I'm going to wrap the content inside the template tag, and the template is going to have attribute. Uh, and true and uh, it is going to refer the js property that js property uh, is going to be a boolean property like true or false so we are going to check that uh, boolean variable uh, 
uh, value that Boolean variable to true or false uh, uh, by you know from this uh, control. If you click on the checkbox, you call a JS method and enable this property. So initially, this property must be declared with false. Am I right? For example, the Boolean variable name is uh, uh, show detail. The Boolean variable name is show detail. So I will declare this over here. And how it should be initially, uh, initially uh, what type of value I can initialize? Boolean false. What happens now? This is false, right? So if true is valued with false, so this will not be rendered. So when it has to render, when it has to render on click of the button, on click of the checkbox. So on click or on change, it's not a button, right? On change. Okay, so on change event, I'm going to call a JS method. You know, you'll have a, um, an argument, event argument, okay? And uh, we're going to change this to um, so whatever value entered by the user. Suppose user uncheck the checkbox, it has to, uh, I cannot hard code this, right? Because it always be true now. So I have to refer this event. You know, you remember uh, the event, how did you uh, use to get the input? Event dot target. There's a property called target. Okay. And uh, in the case of checkbox type, we have the property called checked. So this is a property will hold the input from checkbox input type. You get my point? This is a property you will refer from the target uh, to get the uh, input from checkbox type. Okay. So all you have to do is you have to just this method able to follow this is this clear to all of you you just uh, input checkbox on change you call this yes method and you just turn the property on and off right More, uh, not something like uh, making it false and true right so if you want to check this you can put it in a control log
yeah so let me go to inspect as well right you should get a input here right so you see the content is rendered because the input is checked it it disabled right because the input is false okay so i hope you understand you will be able to implement this for any other exercise right okay i'll i'll give a exercise later um uh, do this or else i would give the exercise now only hold on what are the use case we are now currently current right yesterday it was five then six no Uh, five, huh? oh. yeah, five in the notepad i given uh, uh, till five okay yesterday should it should have been six i okay. should rename this right yeah yeah i should rename this
example if a person enter the name ranjit okay uh, can you display like this the salary is so and so how we are going to display this in jail salary need to be calculated like this Basic pay, right? The basic pay should be uh, five thousand. Experience is more than uh, five, or is between three and uh, five, three, ten. In this, then five. The salary should be. Okay. You need to calculate this. You get it? What I'm saying? All of you. Yeah. Okay then. Okay, so we'll move on to the next one. Uh, I hope you have done the uh, calculator application, right? Calculator. You try your level best. If not, then you let me know in the next class. Uh, I'll see. Okay. Yeah. The more important thing here is in say in LWC, how to reuse the component. Okay, how to reuse the component. So. If you see any uh, page, right? For example, uh, uh, the page where you are seeing the detail page, for example. Okay, uh, you see the only that data will be different, but the layout is more or less same between all the object record pages. For example, if you see the top highlight component, right? So only the content will be different. But the layout, everything is remains same. So they create a component once and use it in multiple places. They create this component once and use it in multiple places. Okay. So and you have to break the component into small components. That 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 is a an approach. That's an approach you will follow to increase the reusability. example if i have a page like this okay i have a page like this so i display the company details at the top and below i get, i have the name of the employee phone number of the employee the city etc right and again i have uh, some common details here which is common to all employees for example here the company, all the employees work for the same company. So the company details at the top is going to be same. And the other details again at the bottom is going to be same. So instead of keeping all the details in one component, for example, in one HTML page, instead you, uh, uh, you know, build all the components, include all the details. What I will do, I will make it as a separate component. I break into three components. Okay, so suppose I have another page. Uh, that page is basically for customer page. Suppose in the customer page, I would like to show my company details. I just have to call this component. That's all right. I need not re-enter the details every time wherever I need that particular details. Correct. So you comp you create this component once. Okay. 
and use this component anywhere you want. Suppose this component name is company details dot HTML. Okay. How will you use this in another LWC component? So this is my component name. How can I use this in another HTML, uh, another component? For example, I create a component called customer dot HTML. I create a component called customer dot HTML. LWC component I'm talking about. How can I use this component uh, company details here? Template. Template. Okay. And I'm going to have this component at the top, right? This component at the top. So I will use this default namespace. Every component will refer by namespace, isn't it? If you take from uh, Visual Force, every component has a namespace apex. Most of the components are we have namespace apex. What is the namespace uh, for standard components in ARA, ARA colon, ARA colon component, or lightning colon input, like this, right? So whatever the custom component we create, I create a customer, I create a company details, I create n number of components like this, uh, grid demo, model demo, right? Uh, invoke JS method. All these components belongs to stored in a namespace below the namespace called C. Okay, so C is a default namespace. C normally I will refer the component colon, right? Namespace colon, apex colon. But here in LWC, we will follow the naming convention C hyphen. What is the company uh, component name? Component I'm going to refer company, and uh, wherever you see this uppercase the word no the the name is separated by uh, lowercase and followed by uppercase that needs to be referred by hyphen you get my point all of you then close then again you have to uh, close that you cannot self close you cannot go with a slash okay you have to self close like this is it clear to all of you how do you refer the LWC component, include LWC component, uh, one component into another component. This is how you will nest it. So composing the component, okay. So break the component into different and co how to compose. So composing in the sense, uh, this is how to refer the component, okay. This example I just like to show you, how to refer any component, how to call the component, other component inside, inside, inside another component. How to? Call another component say another component. The naming convention that we follow is uh, break the uh, lawyer and camel case, uh, you know, like the in this naming convention in this format. This format is called a kebab case. Uh, the naming convention uh, referring uh, with hyphen breaking the lawyer camel case like this, nothing but kebab case. You understand? Shall I proceed further? Yes, sir. Just hold on one minute. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. So, yeah. So, this is how the naming, uh, this is how the, uh, you refer the LWC component. And, uh, uh, but actually, I wanted to explain. Uh, Composing the component. Composing the sense. For example, I am displaying the list of uh, uh, list of account. I am displaying the list of account name. Okay, like uh, CPS, NIT, um, ECS. Okay, uh, root shell. The, some company details I am entering. Each company details, I need to display in the form of uh, with the details like a company name, address, and phone number, etc. Each company details I would like to display like this. Okay, and all these company details are from database, for example. All these company details are from the uh, database. 
so i pull the data so i write one component i write one component and get all the details and render here okay so so array of data i pull from the database and render in one component you get my point and each component has its own design like this okay so so instead of doing this in one component we are going to break this into a small component how we are going to break this i am going to write a component uh, one component to get all the details from the database there will be a component to get all the account details okay this is one component and another component is going to um, get one account details and display in the format whatever you want it means uh, this is going to be a component which handles only one uh, component at a time one data at a time okay and this component is going to get all the details a list of account name is going to get and the account name i am going to pass as an argument to this component you get my point you are going to break it because now wherever i need to render only one account details i can reuse this component the reusability is increased now right because i am break this component to two component now one component is get the details it's not going to render the details it is just going to get the details and inside this component i am going to call this component the second one the second one will take care of formatting the display formatting the display okay all you have to do is you are going to pass the data from one component to another component so this component is going to behave as a parent this component is going to behave as a child so parent to child communication we are going to see parent to child communication and we are going to see how to break the component into small component i just given a brief idea uh, we will 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 uh, we'll see one uh, small example uh, a primitive example a simple example then we'll get into uh, an object type example okay uh, ranjit sorry actually which one is the parent and which one is the child and how we are defining yeah i i'll i'll show that in example uh, okay no. okay okay no problem okay okay yeah. yeah we already covered this yeah cities okay so we display this city value right we should display this city value uh, uh, in one component okay so now i'm going to render this uh, i i'm going to break this into multiple component okay so how i'm going to break it listen um let's not disturb this example okay i i create uh, two component now the first component i say uh, is and uh, like this now so this is going to iterate and going to pass uh, each cities to another component so let's remove this i'm going to create another component now
This is going to render one component using lightning dot, for example. Okay, lightning dot. And uh, what is going to render a city name? It's clear to all of you. Clear is clear. This is going to handle only one city. There is no iteration. It's just going to handle one city. One city, how to render that format you can take care of here. You 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 just uh, referring only one uh, data here. But if you see any account details, for example, you know, in the name, a currency, you'll format it, whatever you want. That's taken care by this particular component, and this particular component will rent will handle only one one account details or one city details wherever we need to render one particular detail i can reuse this module anywhere okay now in my cities component i'm going to include this how i'm going to include this you know the naming convention right the iphone tell me city iphone because it's a camel case right i'm breaking it this you get my point like this okay i'm going to include this now what next i'm going to do you know about uh, why this uh, red line is appearing you know because uh, there should be a um, uh, you know like there is a key uh, attribute must be included to the very next tag of your for each, isn't it? So what I do, I put a division here. Okay. And as part of the division, I'm going to use the key. And you know how to refer the key here. Make sense to all of you? Are you able to follow this? It makes sense. So what next I have to take care of here? I need to pass the city value, right? I need to pass the city value to this attribute correct so now i'm i am composing the component a parent child component it is in parent child relationship which is a parent now city is a parent city line name is a child so what next i have to do i have to pass this a city value for every iteration to city line item okay so how will you pass this how will you pass this hope you remember in your uh, uh, ara if you come across ara how will you pass a value from uh, uh, value to another component attribute? You have to refer the attribute here, isn't it? So I am going to refer the attribute of city line item. What is the attribute here? It means the property city. So I am going to refer the uh, property city here. And next, I am going to pass, what I am going to pass here? What I'm going to pass here? The city is a, a property of city line item, right? See, I have to pass. Okay. But now the important point here is the city is a property of city line item. It is not the property of uh, a parent uh, element here. Parent element is cities, right? So it is not a property. So now it is more like a private variable. It is more like a private property. It is only available within this class, not outside the class. If you need to bring outside the class, by default, it's a private. How to make it as public? In class, we'll declare public, right? But here, we're going to use an annotation or decorator. You call them as decorator. OK, the decorator, right? Decorator annotation. You call them as decorator or annotation. What is decorator? Decorator is used to used to change the behavior of your uh, natural behavior of your property. 
Yes, okay. In this example, uh, for a property, it is used to change the nature and behavior of the uh, property, the decorator. You get my point, all of you? Double slash only. I, I'll show. I, I'll tell you why is uh, red line is appearing. Uh, at API, at API is a decorator. Uh, nothing but is equivalent to declare a class variable as public. Okay, and when you use this decorator, you have to import a module called API. The decorator will have the related module in the same name. Okay, there are a uh, few more decorators are available. We'll cover that uh, when we. Uh, when you get into that particular topic okay so at api is a kind of uh, we call them as decorator in javascript which is used to change the behavior of the property so now the property became a public a public variable now it is allowed i can refer like this so what type of communication we are establishing now child to parent or parent to child child to parent or parent to child communication Parent child, right? Parent to child, right? So remember the parent to child communication is established with the help of a decorator at API. Okay. Parent to child communication, and we'll see decorator. And uh, uh, you learn here uh, how to composing the component. Composing the component is very important. Okay. How to break the component, how to uh, pass the value out to communicate between the components. So, uh, which component uh, should be deployed first into the arc? Anybody? Which component should be deployed first into the arc? I think the city's component should be first and city line term will be next. I don't think so. Which component should be de uh, deployed first? City line item, right? Isn't it? City line item must be deployed first. And city line item need not have the target, need not be having the target. Target is not very mandatory for city line item at this point because you are going to place cities inside the record page. That is just an additional information I'm saying. But you have to first deploy child because before you deploy it, if you deploy the cities, it would throw an error, right? Because it won't find. If you, if you don't deploy this, Cities, if you deploy first before you deploy this, I I I hope you'll I believe you get error. You try this later, okay? What type of error will you get generally? So you get not found. No, the component not found, right? Because it's trying to okay. refer. No, when you compile, it will refer this component, right? Correct. Oh, got it. Makes sense. Yeah. You see here, I'm just going to include cities only, not city line item, right? This will take care of that, right? Is that it? I get a li within lightning card, no? Within lightning card, I get all the, you know how to add the padding and all, right? The padding is not given now. You know how to give the padding. There is no padding here, right? How to give the padding now? Anybody? Listen to this class. Mm, yeah, class equal to. Padding or margin, whatever. Padding around. Uh, medium. Yes. How to give a title? Name. 
you should have button here is not include right see like this way i got uh, each contact uh, like this correct i have control here okay so this is how you compose the component so followed by this i would like to explain one more like um, uh, you already seen that sls grid class right suppose i like to display two contact in a row not like this it is all uh, you know uh, sequentially uh, one after the other displaying right in a row one just one contact but how to render two contacts in a row how to render two contacts in a row any idea grid the call hmm okay you, you try you yeah you try with the grid uh, grid uh, sls grid uh, element and you refer the size as one of two one of two will work right one of two if you give definitely it will arrange uh, render two contact in a row how about uh, uh, any component we have in lightning lwc gate we have okay we have something called layout layout item get it layout layout item so using which you can arrange the layout it is again a grid system it is again a grid system like you have seen in uh, sls grid no you try both of these okay you try both of these so uh, how it works you here they are displaying a, a simple layout the parent component should be a layout the child will be a layout item okay and uh, you have content here so in this example if you see field one field two yeah they given like this okay let me take another one uh, nested page. see the nested page there now yeah yeah this is, this is what you need to know it's very important see here uh, they have header no and uh, they have three section here three section we have a left sidebar the main detail the right sidebar it, it is how the every layout is being arranged right you take in a for example uh, a regular uh, site like this what happens here what happens here it is being divided into different layout correct we have a left sidebar and we have a main component this is divided into two and the top is showing the details the summarized details of the deals everything so you design the layout the way you want right see here so how did they design it okay see here the outer is layout item the outer is layout item then layout item uh, sorry layout the child is layout item which means the header okay header and uh, and uh, next to that we have three component how did they bring these three component they put everything inside the layout item so layout item again and uh, they decide the size here that's very important size so the first header is you know grid size is 12 maximum we'll, we'll see right so size 12 which means the whole uh, thing is header and uh, this head again the next layout item the total is 12 but among the 12 they divide into three different parts uh, so see here among the 12 
this takes the size three the next takes the size double the uh, the left bar which means six then three plus six nine no what is left over again another three so you'll see here that's how they divided layout item you know it's in the 12 uh, then they bring another parent component layout here then inside the layout they divide as uh, three six and the six uh, three again you understand this all of you will you able to make it such type of layout and i, I give exercise later not now okay so now you tell me how to uh, uh, use that layout layout item um, and again one more important information here uh, suppose in the grid system uh, if the current row is filled up how about uh, wrap the additional item to the next row what was the attribute we uh, what are the sldc class we uh, you know we used in that sldc grid you remember when the current row is occupied with the 12 columns for example all the 12 grid is occupied how to wrap the next comp component to the next row automatically what was the sldc class i referred yesterday wrap remember wrap right wrap so here you have to specify multiple rows equal to true you have to specify multiple rows equal to true that's it so the parent component has this attribute multiple rows equal to true so what happens now automatically so this one the footer is uh, go to the next row the footer automatically goes to the next row if you don't give this what will happen the footer will not render the footer will not render so you have to give multiple rows equal to two is that clear okay shall we display two contacts in a row now how to do that uh, yeah layout Uh, I I take this example. Uh, I comment this for reference, or else I take this. I copy it into your notepad first, okay? Before I modify this. What are the first one we are seeing today? Um, this one, right? What is the use of the decorator? What is the use of the RTAP decorator? To make it a public. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to modify this uh, to display in two uh, um, uh, cities, uh, you know, in a row. So, yeah. So, it, it's going to get the contact, right? It's going to get the city value. Okay. And, uh, um, yes, layout item.
And Ranjit, one more doubt. Like we have different uh, tags, right? So what is the format? Uh, like in the lighting card, can we use the lighting layout? Uh, and like different tags are there. Is there any format to follow it or how? So what format? I, I couldn't get your question clearly. Hmm. No, we have the lighting layout, lighting card, uh, lightning grid, like so many tags, right? So is there any format to follow? Like like in visual post here, right? The page block table we can use the page block section, page block item, other icon stuff it can be used like that. Mm -hmm. So here also is any format like uh, dependency, yeah. The tag dependency, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Not every tag has a dependency, but layout item uh, okay. might require a layout as a parent component, but not every uh, component. It's all is that no predefined uh, uh, strictly, you know. Parent child relationship. Uh, sometimes it required, then we should follow that. But I don't think so. Uh, more components have such dependency. Uh, example layout, layout layout item has some dependency, but not every other component. Uh, all, all our components are individual. Uh, for example, the button item has some dependency. Uh, button. Button, you know. Uh, button menu item uh, can can only be a side to button menu. That that dependency is there, but not for every other component. Okay, thank you. Is that your question? Okay. So layout item. And now I I given this uh, where is it? Yeah. Okay. And layout, layout item uh, slot. I'm sorry. And it's not mandatory yet. Focus on cities for here, okay? Yes. That's a typo, right? And I'm going to decide the size of this. You tell me what is the size I can uh, use here to display two uh, cities in a row. What is the size I can choose to display two cities in a row? Six. Six, right? Okay. And how to wrap the city value once two cities are uh, placed in a row? How to wrap the next? Uh, uh city to the next row what do i have to put simple is the true right i think we are done uh you can add the padding there is a inbuilt attribute called padding and uh, which accepts the value around small around large is my point so this is an inbuilt attribute you can use. Oh. Get it right. So now uh, a two component uh, in a row. So with this, we can uh, go this session. Okay, any question?
I think this this is enough. Uh, I'm still a little confused with parent and child only, which we are calling as parent and which we are calling as child. Well, let me uh, elect one minute. Yeah. The data which we are getting from parent is the child, right? I mean, the for example, cities we have already defined in cities component. Mm. Uh, city line item, uh, we are getting the values of cities into city line item. So, city line item is child you are saying, correct? Hey, um, city line item, uh, if you give a value here, for example, I give uh, Delhi, okay. What happens? Mm -hmm. This I can render this component, place it any of the uh, record page. I can render one city value in the form of card, lightning card. So this is a separate component, right? Don't mm -hmm. don't don't connect this component with any other component. This just an individual component, which will render one city value to the form, whatever the way you want, you can render it. Lightning card. Uh, you format the input, uh, the city value, you can display it, just one component. Now, the city value I'm going to get from another component. Mm -hmm. I have a list of city values here in the yeah. form of array. I have a list of city values. So now, this component is just handle the list of city values, but it's not rendering any component. That rendering uh, UI part, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my city line item component here so i'm going to compose this component inside cities so city became a parent in this case right correct mm -hmm. so which is okay. the parent actually parent will always like this only no parent i will be an estate no okay this right. and uh, it can also have another component inside that became a child to child you get my point that became okay. a child to child so that's a parent okay. is basically okay. yeah the parent, right? for the second child uh, child one should be the parent child to child you oh, yeah you have to when you when you uh, uh, align the component you should align it properly you should write right, uh, right tab you know right justify and tab one uh, level right side, uh, you cannot arrange like this. You'll be confused. But to write tab right side, so that you will see uh, the components are nested, and this is a child to this one. So now the communication is flow from uh, top to bottom, right? Like a hierarchy. It's not top to bottom hierarchy. A parent to child hierarchy communication. Okay. So that's what a parent to child. So parent to child is possible with the help of exposing the child component, the child property with with at API. So I can refer it here in my parent component. So exposing the city value of city line item. So I can pass value to this component. That's it. Okay. Okay. Okay, what is the next exercise? Uh, eight. Okay. We already covered the uh, contact uh, object example. If you recall, contact. Yeah, this one. The details we have. Uh, okay. Name. Add phone. Salary. And uh, a title, okay.
display the three contacts in your row with name and Italian uh, title. Okay. And uh, create two components. One is contact list. Uh, here, and iterate. And contacts. From JS, okay. Example. I given only a few contacts here, like this. Okay, this is one component you are going to create. The name of the component is contact list. You get my point, all of you. The name of the contact uh, component is contact list. Okay, the next component you are going to create is contact line item. What is going to have? This is going to have to render one component here, one contact using uh, lightning card. Below more or less, more or less like this. But display uh, three contacts in a row. Give me a point like this. Okay, and you display the name here. Name. Name should be at the title. Name should be at the, the title. Example. Detailer. Okay. And uh, uh, the title BP, right? And the salary, salary, suppose it is in dollar, it should be in dollar, 13 dollars. Like this, you arrange, okay? Arrange and I include a view button here. Like these three contacts in a row, you have to display. Clear? Huh? Recommend is clear to all of you. I hope it's clear. Yes, yes, I do. Okay.
Yeah, you got it. Notes for the year. Okay, then, uh, see you tomorrow. Take care.